Hi, I'm Dave Painter, the Reserve Manager here at Slimbridge, and we're out on the hallowed ground of the, the Dumbles, out on the edge of the estuary, looking across to a, a new salt marsh island that's forming on the estuary here. Welcome to another edition of Wildlife Weekly. Well, this week we're going to be looking at young birds again, young waders, ducks, young starlings appearing, and we'll be looking at uh, some of the food that we might find for those birds in the ponds here at Slimbridge. I've got to mention the fantastic backdrop to our Wildlife Weekly today, the, the, a new area of salt marsh that's developing, an island that's developing out here on the, uh, on the estuary. Huge area, we measured it uh, earlier in the week, 60 or 70 acres of new marshland occurring here and loads of wildlife, so it really is uh, a nice bit of habitat, something to watch for the future. The young birds are still a real big feature of the site at the, um, at the moment. Young ducks all over the place, shell ducks feeding in these big creches, big families. Other sets have been absolutely brilliant. Second clutches are now hatching. We've got four new chicks on the, the top new piece, a couple of new uh, chicks in the, uh, in the rushy as well. So great watching for those. The turn chicks are growing and getting ever more active. Look for those on the, uh, on the South Lake. And we're seeing the first big flocks of starlings starting to appear. We already get a small roost at this, uh, this time of year. Uh, groups of adults, the dark black adults and the, the tawny brown um, youngsters all mixing together. That's again a real feature of this time of year, so watch out for that. The young birds are doing so well because there's such a rich invertebrate life for them to feed on here at Slimbridge. So let's join Seb Ashton, a volunteer who's going to show us some of the creatures that they might be feeding on. Hi, I'm Seb. I'm a volunteer with the learning department. We're here at the pond tipping zone at the centre. Here at the water bodies in Slimbridge you can find dragonflies, snails, even some small fish, and you can find them using some very simple equipment. So all the equipment you'll need is a net and a magnifying glass, and I personally like to use an ID guide, very useful for those for the certain tricky creatures that look similar to other ones, and the most important part of course is the white tray. The white background helps you see the silhouette of the animal more clearly. Ponds are a vital part of the wetlands ecosystem. They provide a great food source for our young birds. They use the uh, insects like the water boatmen and the pond skaters and even the fish like the three-spined sticklebacks. So one of my favourite insects that you can find in a pond is the greater water boatman. And what you can see is that uh, he swims upside down. And what he's actually doing is what looks like his bottom is being uh, poked up to the surface of the water and he's trapping air there using the hairs uh, which then allows him to dive deeper and search for prey. And a fish species that we can commonly find in the ponds here is the three-spined stickleback. Now a cool fact about them is that during the summer the adult males will turn red with blue eyes and they will build a nest out of algae and bits of pond plants and they will territorially defend this against anything red that could potentially be another male stickleback. Starting this Saturday we will have daily pond dipping sessions here at the pond zone where I am now. These are free and they're not just for families, adults are welcome as well. While you're here the staff will be on hand for any questions that you might have. All you need to do is come down and grab a net. OK, well, I think we've got uh, some optimism in the, the weather this week. We've got a lot of, of hot weather coming, winds from all over, including some southeasterlies, thunderstorms coming through as well. So all sorts of things could happen. I'm sure we're going to see more wade and migration. Fingers crossed we might even see a few turns coming through, but it will be worth getting out and watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and followers on Facebook and Twitter. Go to our YouTube channel and if you want more up-to-minute information, please visit the WWT website.